Hey everyone, let's solve another classic leak code problem today, longest palindromic substring. So we're given a string in this case, B A B A D, and we want to return the longest palindromic substring that exists inside of here. In this case, there's actually two, B A B, as well as A B A. So we could return either of these and that would be perfectly fine. Now, what actually is a palindromic substring in the first place? Basically, it means that, you know, you take BAB, if we wrote that in the reverse order, which would be, you know, BAB, it's the exact same string. So, like I usually do, let's say you just don't know how to solve the problem. Well, what's the most brute force way you could do it? Well, you could say, I'm just going to check every single substring in this uh, original string and check if it's a palindrome and get the longest one starting at B so I would check this I could check this I could check this this and this right so every substring containing this original B and I want to check for each of these is it a palindrome or not and I would repeat that process with every character right so for this a I'd get every substring and basically keep doing that now, the question is, for a string, for example, BAB, how, what's the time complexity to even check if it's a palindrome? Well, we'd have to scan through the entire string, right? So for any given substring to check if it's a palindrome, it's going to take linear time complexity. So let's say N, right? Now, how many substrings do we actually have to check? N squared because we're checking every single substring containing every single character. So to check if a string is a palindrome, we have to do we have to do a linear scan and we have to do that for every single substring. So then that's going to mean that the overall time complexity of this brute force approach is going to be big O n cubed. So the question is how can we do better? Well, it it actually involves understanding how to actually check if a substring is a palindrome or not. For again, let's look at BAB. We can check if it's a palindrome by starting at the outside and comparing these characters. And as long as they're equal, we'll keep going until we get to the middle and then we'll check and then we'll know okay, it's a palindrome. But we could also do it another way. We could start at the middle and then expand outwards and, and check if it's a palindrome that way. So well, which one of these is going to help us more? Well, let's think about this. Let's say I wanted to know for this B, what's the longest palindrome where this B is the center of the palindrome? Well, there's no character to the left of it, so it's just going to be this character, this, or this B itself, right? So it's just one. What about this A? Well, let's let's start expanding. There is a character to the left and there is a character to the right and they happen to be equal. So the longest palindrome with this A at the center is gonna be a uh, length three and it's gonna be BAB. -B. Notice how if we do it this way, for each character, we're gonna consider it the center and we're gonna keep expanding outwards we're going to take each character, so that's going to be n, and to expand outwards for each character, it's going to be n again. So for this way, the overall time complexity is going to be O of n squared. So that's kind of clever, right? Like a little, a subtle difference of how we check if it's a palindrome can really improve the time complexity. But hold on, there's one edge case that we're missing. When we take one character and expand outwards from it, like for this B, we're getting palindromes that are of odd lengths. They've conveniently shown us this example where the longest palindrome is actually even. So how are we going to check even palindromes? Well, that's just a slight edge case that we can easily add to our solution. So we just have to remember to handle this edge case when we're implementing our code. Okay, so let's get to everybody's favorite part, the code. So I'm going to initialize the result as an empty string because, you know, that's just a good default case. We'll get the, the longest length initially set to zero. Now we're going to go through every single character or rather every single position in this string, considering it to be the center. So first let's check odd length 
palindromes. So I'm going to have a left and right pointer. These left and right pointers are going to be initialized to I, which is our center position right now. While my left and right pointers are inbound, as well as while this is a palindrome, so I want to check that the left and right are equal to each other. Remember, we're, we're starting in the middle and expanding outwards. So while this is the case, we know it's a palindrome, so we can potentially update our result. So we'll check that the length of this palindrome, which we can compute by saying right minus left plus one, is greater than our current result length, then we update the result. And we also have to not forget to update the result length. I usually forget to do this. And let's also not forget to expand our pointers outward. So our left pointer will be shifted to the left. Our right pointer will be shifted to the right. So now let's check the even length palindromes as well. Right now, you can handle this a bunch of different ways. The way I'm going to do it is setting the left pointer to uh, i and setting the right pointer to i plus 1. So again, we're basically copy and pasting the code that we just wrote above. Maybe we could write a function to do this, but that's I'm too lazy to do that. So while it's a palindrome again, we'll check that the length is, we'll check that it's the longest palindrome that we've seen so far, basically. If it is, we update our result. And again, we can expand our pointers outward. And at the end, all we have to do is return our result. So I kind of made it look easy uh, with the code, but don't let it fool you. It took me a while to write this before I started recording this. Um, there's a lot of like edge cases that can be kind of annoying with this problem, I think. For me, putting the if statement, uh, ch checking that it's the longest palindrome inside of the while loop helped. I think if you put this outside the while loop, it kind of makes it harder. But I hope this at least gave you a little bit of the intuition behind the problem. Um, writing the code is not always easy, but if this was helpful, leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.